Okay, this is uh, Valerie's beautiful Schiller upright piano that we've been working on. And uh, as you can see, it's got some new strings in it. Actually, a lot of new strings. And some new pins in it. I'm going to explain why some of these new pins have to be put in. Uh, here's a group of three pins that I don't know if you can see it, but see how they're recessed? These are sticking out farther, and these are recessed. That's because they were so loose I had to pound them in deeper, pound each one of them deeper, so to hopefully they would hold the string uh, tension. And this middle one is holding, and I'll show you how. Uh, show you how what one acts. Here's the pause button down here. Sir. Okay. So uh, this, I'm going to show you how this pin here, this one right here, is holding. An example of holding. Watch. Watch the, watch the hammer when I let it go. That's the pitch I want. I want it to be at this pitch. Oh, well, decide not to hold anymore. See, that's an example of a, a tuning pin that's too loose. It's supposed to be at this pitch, but... So, if you notice, it's pounded in all the way, so the only way that I can make that hold is to put a new tuning pin in it that's larger. Okay, so the same thing, uh, I'm going to test the other one here on the left. And show you how that one is too. That, that is, can't... Okay, that's the right pitch it's supposed to be at right there. Now watch what happens when I let go. just so pins have to be replaced and sometimes working with the string when you're replacing the pin sometimes the string breaks because they're so old over 100 years old and they get brittle all right let's stop that right there